Don't pick your nose, Pinocchio. A story about hygiene. Gippetto was a carpenter. He made a lot of things out of wood. He had no family and was very lonely. He decided to make himself a wooden puppet boy and pretend that it was his son. The puppet was very realistic. It even had nostrils. Look, nostrils. Geppetto called him Pinocchio. Geppetto talked to Pinocchio all the time, but Pinocchio couldn't talk back. Geppetto got some very strange looks when people saw them out together. Then, one day, a kind-hearted fairy waved her wand and poof! Pinocchio came to life! Be a good son to Geppetto, the fairy told him. Don't tell lies, don't pick your nose, and one day you'll be a real boy. Pinocchio tried very hard to be good, but he couldn't resist sticking his finger up his nose and rummaging about. He pulled out little wooden bogies and flicked them across the floor. Urgh, yucky! Geppetto slipped on them and fell with a bump. Pinocchio! he shouted. Have you been picking your nose? No, father, said Pinocchio, and boing! His nose suddenly grew. That's what happens when you tell a lie, said Geppetto. Pinocchio, have you been picking your nose? asked Geppetto again. Er, yes, father said Pinocchio, and his nose shrank back to normal. One day, Pinocchio was playing under the kitchen table. Are you picking your nose, Pinocchio? called Geppetto. No, father, called Pinocchio. Boing! Pinocchio still had his finger stuck up his nostril when his nose grew, it grew so quickly that his arm came off and shot across the room. Geppetto mended Pinocchio's arm. Then he fetched a little box and opened it up. Pinocchio, he said, meet Mr. Cricket. He's going to stay with you and help you stop picking your nose. Pinocchio's nose started to tickle. But as he lifted up his finger, Mr. Cricket hopped onto it and shouted, Don't pick your nose, Pinocchio! So he didn't. Then Mr. Cricket played games with Pinocchio to keep his fingers busy. But one day, Mr. Cricket jumped onto Pinocchio's finger just too late and got shoved right up his nose. Get me out! he cried. How? asked Pinocchio. Blow your nose into a tissue! said Mr. Cricket. So Pinocchio blew his nose and pop, pop, out came Mr. Cricket. I'm so sorry, Mr. Cricket, said Pinocchio. I promise I'll try not to pick my nose anymore. Blowing it is much more fun. The fairy had been watching and was so pleased with Pinocchio that, poof, 
she turned him into a real boy. And from that day, Pinocchio never, ever picked his nose again. The end.